Ladies and gentlemen, we've got another show match. Certainly invite again. <laughs> he's, he's a popular guy. He keeps getting requested here. What's going on with that? He's playing as Anders. Uh, already missing a little bit of early game action here with Psylac. On the other side, his challenger poking him. Now, this is a show match that was... Oh, he's playing as Arbiter. Now, this is a show match that was commissioned by Cheddarful Lad. So, huge shout out to Cheddarful Lad. Um, it's been a long, long series of Liam show matches. And all these uh, high onyx, low champion guys keep getting pitted against him. It's really cool to see if they can pick off some games from the man himself but it is a best of seven so it's extremely difficult for these guys to get a full-on win psylac is going in without a coach unlike uh defender did unlike sean did so i guess liam is um building up his pension pot with this <laughs> um 30 dollars for the winner are gonna happen somebody will win so want to give a huge shout out to our website subscribers who allow us to keep everything going. And we've got a pretty cool sponsor today. It's the game Synced, which is actually a lot like Destiny. Um, highly recommend checking it out. It's a free-to-play game. I will be covered in the stream later. And if the people on YouTube want to see it too, um, it will be in the Twitch wad. Saved for perpetuity. Now, we've got this little ghost spotting that we've got two generators for Liam. Tier 2 or Spartan and Grenade Marines. We're about to find out. But seeing as Liam actually doesn't have... Oh, 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 he, he just swapped out the building. I was going to say he might just be turning up. But no, no, no. He's making the armory. He's making the turrets. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. I'd be really shocked if Liam actually didn't get any early game units. Oh my goodness, he just managed to steal a mini base. Psylac going for an early Arbiter, which could be really problematic, as you guys all know. But the Spartan is a pretty decent um, counter to the Arbiter, at least on Tier 1. Later on, the Arbiter gets pretty wild. And if Psylac is actually doing the strategy with uh, the Arbiter just kind of suiciding into the enemy generators and also using Plasma Bullet to bolster his building pushing potential that could be rough that could be rough those generators are basically next to each other right so you can blast this corner in between the two that will hit both buildings or you could get this supply pad plus generator with the plasma bolt right in the middle of course it will take several to actually destroy them uh, the, the triple plasma bolt is basically a requirement for the insta kill but you've got the arbiter who will weaken them so i think even the double one will be quite potent liam will have to be on point trying to defend it if that is even what psylac is intending to do he's got a bunch of enforcers from this raid camp over at the mini base um, funnily enough he didn't send one to the back Minibase getting hurt on both sides and his power notes are getting taken away. Psylac might be looking to take down the... Is this Cloak? No, no, he's... I, I thought he might Cloak the Grunts and take down the Sentinels, which is perfectly legal, by the way, in tournament and show match environments. What's not legal is <laughs> trying to take the power notes without killing the Sentinels. So if you want to do it with Cloak, that's cool. Alright, two turrets... It's never stopped an Arbiter before. I doubt it will start now. Yeah, he went for the Plasma Bolt, but I kind of wish he, he hit both buildings at the same time. If he activates Rage, you get a little bit of healing in there, but the Spartan will be doing so much damage. Oh, he's still stunned. What is going on? The grenades. They take him down. Oh, boy. Sure, a little bit of damage was suffered by these Marines as they enter Stasis, but... It's totally manageable. Well, you know, if if that plasma bolt had just waited a little bit, look, 
Psylocke is almost ready to go for the next point. You don't have to rush in here. You just uh, do your Plasma Bolt 2, which would get the generator down to a third of the health, and then the Arbiter plus an Enforcer can finish it. Um, having an Enforcer with you also means that you can Stasis Grenade the Spartan, so it can't really slam you that way. Stasis is like one of the things that can actually stop the Spartan from slamming. Even a regular stun isn't sufficient. The jump attacks, they counter stuns, in case you guys didn't know. Rocket Launcher is getting researched as Liam is in tier 2 now. And it's a pretty quick upgrade considering that Liam is playing as Anders here, has R&D, uh, probably even level 2, I think. Oh, he just cancelled it! He just cancelled the Rocket Launcher upgrade. Oh, Liam, no. It's to remake that now. Must be a very annoying realization that this just happened. As for Psylocke, at least he has his turrets coming up, but it looks like the one that's being built will be destroyed. Nothing a few suicide guns can't fix, but Liam is on the offensive. Getting additional Hellbringers in there. You are actually pretty good against suicide guns themselves. Spartan has a slam available should he wish to use that. But a great split and good targeting by the Spartan will take care of that. Uh, only one turret remains. He's got combat tech marines now as well. And with the power left over, instead of upgrading the Spartan, he could just use that on the Hellbringers. Honestly, get dispersion nozzles, melt the remaining grunts. Should be absolutely no problem. He gets a nice slam against the Enforcers as well. Super clean execution by Liam overall. Uh, is that... I heard something flying in. Is that just a soundtrack? I think so. Psylocke at least has the mini bases, but no resources to actually buy the harvesters on it. And he's also got to deal with that Warthog. Plasma Bolt is ready to go. Might use that on the defense, but... Uh, the back buildings have already been stripped. The front buildings are being stripped. Psylocke is destroying all that he's got left. For the counter-attack! It's gonna go out in a shiny way, <laughs> at least destroying that one generator that he set out to, to grab. But this one is gonna go to Liam. He's just too strong, man. He's too strong. Nobody can stop him. Bring out Rock. Welcome to game two. It's still Sir Liam White. Crazy. I know. He's playing as Pavium. Um, working on these double harvesters immediately. Also going for the high ground. On the other side, we've got Psylocke playing as Yap Yap. Which is actually a pretty good idea. I think on Bedrock. Against Pavium? Mm, I, I, I quite like it. Yap Yap against Pavium, honestly, guys. Because Methane Heavy Grunts. Are just so strong. You can't really go tier one um, as as Pavium against that. It's really difficult. You could technically say just make triple chop rear or the games happen, but that is so expensive. Yep, yep. We'll just buy all your mini bases. And then you're in trouble, sauce. He's gonna go for the early war council. Liam is uh, not upgrading the extractor, just letting it happen and prioritizing the hero, I guess. Liam is safe in terms of mini bases and he's keeping his resources for the hero. That's why he wasn't buying those slots that we were just looking at. So Psylac. I do wonder when we're gonna see the second generator. I think he's just gonna buy the minis for now and I'll be pretty chill about it. Heavy grunts are already underway, but he's still pumping cannon fodder, so there's no early methane. He's not really in a rush with that. It's for Liam. He's queued up the Pavium hero. As long as there's any and enough heavy grunts as well as methane, Pavium is not a threat. That's purely defensive. Tesla here with the banished emoji. I think the banished logo is actually super cool. That's just my personal opinion. 
Ed sent you. Fantastic news. Always love it when... We got friends of friends in the chat. Alright, so Liam has one big play in my opinion. Uh, there's... It, it's not even a lich timing, I believe it's just late, late, late game. Pavium's base is essentially unbreakable for Yap Yap. If the hero chills under that, if you've got a handful of mega turrets, all the free bases will be covering each other with mega turrets. You get a bunch of reavers, and then the bases become invisible. So mega, mega, mega late game. I heavily favor Pavium, to be honest, but there's so many ways that Yap Yap can win until that happens. Also, Yap Yap isn't particularly amazing against Scarabs, so there is that. There comes the methane, everything's in order. Slowing down a little bit. Nobody wants to engage. Psylek knows how to play this, like, you, you gotta mess up these boys and Pavium can't really run away. He can, however, target paint them and, and, and drop the beams on them. Lots of discussions about who these players are. You guys pretend you don't know. You're hilarious. Good beam on the Pavium, but uh, guess what? Liam has more. <laughs> he's still gonna lose his hero, though. But at what cost? I mean, he's killed a ton here. Looking pretty good. Shame that he couldn't pair uh, the Brute Slams with that. Later on, if he keeps making Brutes... Brutes plus Ultramines should be pretty hilarious, in my opinion. Now we've got an Apex. And no more Pavium. What? Wait, Liam is just gonna... Make do with Brutes? Interesting. Guess the Engineer is gonna be helpful. There's not that many units here for Psylac. He's... He's pop, but it's mostly gonna be cannon fodder that are being pumped. Um, as for the second generator, we've got one on the high ground. But yeah, now seriously, for the five people that have been living under a rock, Liam White has a fantastic YouTube channel. He used to stream a lot as well on Twitch. Um, has been a top tournament player for the longest time. As for Psylac, he's a more recent addition to the Halo Wars 2 community. He's been doing super well in the Amateur League, and now he's starting to face off against the big boys. He's got a very competitive spirit, so um, I think he has a bright future ahead of him in terms of his days on Halo Wars. I really look forward to seeing what he can do in a few months' time, even if right now Liam seems too strong. Oh my god! That was so sick! He knew that the methane wagon was gonna detonate and he popped down the mine, killing all the grunts. That was so good. But the pebbles aren't hitting the engineer. Okay, heavy grunt does it. That was so sick. Oh my god. Woo! All right. Hey, the. Don't don't hate on the methane and heavy grunts against Pavium. It's it melts the hero. It, he doesn't even have a chance. So if you go hero, which has been scouted, then you should do that. That's absolutely sensible. But Wraith Invaders. <laughs> I love me a good limousine. More people being sent by Ed. It's like an invasion over here. That has been recycled now, so our raid camp is now up in the main base, which leads to lower reinforcement times. Very nice.
Yeah, yeah, power beam and the boys. They pushed this back. Which Halo Wars playlist is this? Or Halo playlist? It's just my custom one. I, I, I just mixed and match stuff that doesn't get copyright striked on YouTube. Well, not striked, but, you know, claimed. It really messes with the algorithm. Uh, so we got a little bit of two, one, two, three, reach, ODST, four uh, is excluded actually. Um, as well as five is mostly excluded. There's a little bit of infinite in there. Halo Wars one and two. That's it, yep. Which is a shame because four is actually my favorite piece of the Halo franchise soundtrack. It's so good. Um, I, th I think it's actually better than the original trilogy in terms of soundtrack, but yeah Keeps getting copyright claimed on YouTube. So what can you do? And what can Psylac do? It's got charge storm launchers, which is nice And these guys can't actually handle this little group so he should be comfortable for now. He's got my plus one on the heavy grunts. Bigger squat size, more power. Great Camperino. Nice targeting there by the power beam. Good micro by Liam putting him out there. The nerf beam, of course. Results in that. <laughs> I love that animation so much, guys. It's, I think, one of the best features in Halo Wars. <laughs> Just love the little grunts getting crushed. Because I guess I'm a sadist. Anyway. Um, do we have any reverse on the way soon? Liam on triple generator now. No fourth generator, I don't think. Yep, yeah, Psy Psylac is doing actually quite well for himself. But oh, we've got a lich! Liam just popped this in. Uh, he was in the garrison this whole time. So that main fight is continuing while he's burning his base down and getting locusts out. And what's going on here? The limousine is fully occupied. I think Pavium's in there. I can't see this little drone, but yeah, he's in there. The beam is hurting him a lot, but I think he's gonna take down at least one of these goblins. Maybe a second one if uh, a lot of effort gets put into it. I, he does have his nerf beam ready to go. Oh, if he triggers that now, it's gonna be so sick. The rain of fire is absolutely deleting these units. At least gets the methane truck. Everyone else kind of walked out of it and uh, li continues to live with low health. The base is dead! Psylax just lost his main base. Oh my goodness. He's floating 2,500 resources. If he only had a shield, it's so important against Pavium. Oh, he thought he built the shield generator, but no. It did not actually happen. He did it here. That's a big shame. He almost had himself in a good position here. Look at that. If he pushes here... Uh, while getting another drop, I think he's actually in a good position, but yeah, Liam survives with the Pavium. He's got anti-vehicle turrets, which will eventually be taking down these uh, bad boys. Over there in the back, even though the engineers are trying their damnness to keep these alive, um, it's only gonna last so long. Especially with the Pavium healing the base, that there's not gonna be any damage here. The suicide runs come crashing into the army. Basically, nothing gets to walk away. Liam has a massive economy with burnout, and he still owns two power nodes. He's question marking it. Why are you still in my game? He says. Why are you still in my game? Psylak gets out of there. <laughs> Whoa, Liam is so powerful. This is crazy. Game 3 on Fishers now. Liam going generator second. 
uh, with Johnson. That's interesting. I'm really curious as to where he'll be taking this one. Silac on the other side of the map in the red color playing as Shipmaster, one of the definitely stronger picks on this map. I really like Serena and Johnson as well though, and I think if Liam plays this right, he certainly has good chances. Um, I like that he's taking so much off the middle power, but of course the grunts are more numerous and they can be annoying and harass. So that is exactly what Psylac is gonna do. And he's filling up his base, but the last building is gonna be of War Council, so he's not that much in a rush with uh, any barracks kind of buildings. Liam is probably going to want not the armory, in fact, but rather snipers. Seem like a pretty essential pick if that hero comes over, cloaks itself, and Johnson is out of position. That spells trouble to me. Psylac, in fact, buying another mini base. What? I guess everything will just time out fine for the hero to be purchased. Uh, he's going mercenary rage first, even though the hero could go out there and hit a bunch of marines. But I guess the grunts are already doing that job, so he's not in terrible much of a rush. Uh, and the mini bases are ready with the slots, so you might as well keep the supplies for that. A bit of a more economic build. Liam um, acknowledges the situation and just buys a base. It's almost the same amount of resources. He'll be fine. And he'll still get out his, his hero anyway. Power no taking, obviously super good with the the grunts. They have higher DPS than the other counterparts. And they actually work <laughs> next to the capture point. So you can always send one ahead to start the capturing. Also, they do it fast because you pick the raid power typically in Shipmaster games. You don't rush teleport. You go for raid because that's a guaranteed benefit. When you look at that vision range that these guys get. Helps so much with buying mini bases fast. Now Liam takes over this mini base somehow. I assume Silac must have sold it. I'm not sure for what. He did get some some turrets in the back. I assume in preparation for any bunker drops. But Liam doesn't seem to be on the aggressive side at all. In fact, he's turning up. So this is a very peaceful game. He got rid of his base. So, what's gonna stop the cloak now? This is actually really problematic. The Johnny is in the garrison, but during the cloak, the shippy hero can do so much damage anyway. And he just waits until his shields are whittled away, which is a slow process, by the way. Uh, the marines are basically toast already. And now the ship shippy hero goes to town on Johnny. There is one garrison. I am curious if Psylac is gonna get cloak or not. It seems like or not. For Liam, Hellbringers, not snipers. He really doesn't care about spotting too much. Now bear in mind, the honor guard does not have cloak for a long time. And Liam can just walk up here, use bunker level 2, and really hunker down in Psylax space. That's, I think, exactly what he's going for. Uh, if he can do multiple bunkers, he will. Already preparing a ton of Hellbringers for the same purpose. Second generator being put down. And he can take back the, the mini. It, it's looking like Psylac might be catching up in terms of the economy, so... But Liam cancelling, of course, the the base there in a very equivalent position overall. There were a lot of marine kills by Psylac, which is nice, but uh, all in all, it doesn't mean that much. Psylac's tier 2 is going to be a little faster, it seems. A lot faster. Liam has never upgraded that back generator. 
it's not underway either, so he's actually got like 200 power right now. Gonna be ways off to get to 1000. And this decap this capture process has been stopped as well. Which Psylac can then take back. He's got 1000 power. He can deal with these little boys fairly easily as well. He's got brutes, so they can smack the bunker. But it's bunker level 2, so it's shielded. Suicide Grunts is gonna use use up their lives to stun these guys and he's gonna do so repeatedly all those halberdiers are not gonna be shooting anytime soon still stunned still stunned now they're shooting so staggering the ramps is actually one of those really nice micro moves love it but of course Liam cranking out a handful of snipers to get rid of his honor guard who's running all the way home Psylax's gonna invest into it even more. I wonder what the next buildings are gonna be. I kinda don't like that he recycled a harvester for it. He only has two harvesters right now. That is not enough economy. Especially with Liam buying up bases left and right. This is gonna be problematic. How many does Liam have? Like four right now? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Liam is gonna be used on the Johnny. If he jiggles and wiggles correctly. He might even stay alive. Any bunker? Oh, he's got a bunker ready to go. Oh my goodness. He's going to get his shields back. This is crazy. He's going to kill every single infantry unit. The sniper comes in. He slaps everything in the face. Psylac does not have pads. Ay, ay, ay. Whee! And they're dead. Snipers could actually pop in the garrison. That's that'll be totally doable. Seems to me Psylac might have locked this base for the moment. Pumping out suicide grunts like there's no tomorrow. And that's for the other side. Psylac's doing the same to Liam, but Liam has bases, man. <laughs> Liam don't care. Just gonna shell that base even more. Whatever he's got. At least his proxy base had to be sold. Don't know exactly how that happened, but he did sell it. That's me, Stosi, leaving a marine behind to... to capture that, of course. Psylax still not aware of Liam's expo, which means that Liam has enough time to get over here and save it. Grunt's gonna spot this. So if Psylac knows what he's doing, he's gonna send more back to completely deny it. And also go on the offense at the same time. This is perfect. Man, I, I love Liam saving that. Johnny with the bunker. That was great. <laughs> Super fun. Anyway. Base is upgraded. Um, There's gonna be an air pad, but is that enough? There's plenty of sauce here. I absolutely do not see a Nightingale coming out of here. Maybe if Liam goes Restoration Jones. Uh, but... He's pretty far away from the next power. Johnny could come in to try and save it with his beacon, but I think Liam just has to sell the buildings. He's not even gonna do that. What? He just lost the base. That's rough, buddy. Especially, especially with Psylac now taking over the base. I'm gonna extract out two. So everyone gets healing. Nothing dies. Psylocke walks away in a pretty good condition. The shipmaster is looking solid, man. This is probably his, one of his better leaders, in fact. Um, I also really love that he remembered to add back in the harvesters. That's a very important step for sure. Working his way to tier 3, but so is Liam. If Psylocke can go to free base and actually hold them, he's in a fantastic position from there. That's exactly what he needs right now. 
and keeping Liam on base would be absolutely devastating. Johnson needs a lot of economy. That's the whole reason he's got the whole turtle nature to him. So that you can hold at least two bases. Then you get those free generators from digging in deep. You can even put them on minis. Upgrade all your bases. Make sure they're all seven slots and whatnot. Should be good from there in theory. Even on two bases, but easier said than done. That engineer bubble is being a huge issue for Liam. Can't push past it. The snipers aren't doing any damage to the hunters. Space has been denied again, but he's got a good amount of power nodes. Trying to get the expo. Psylac once again focusing on production there, but on this base he's getting harvesters, which is great. That's exactly what's needed here. Oh, that's an assassination. I thought the sniper would have made it into the bunker, but no. That's not what happened at all. Which means cloaking is now available. Liam's gonna turn everyone immortal for a moment. Really not gonna last, and those two star hunters absolutely smashing everything. Very nice stun, also. Loving the micro from Psylac. He's gonna call in another spirit support as well. It's two more engineers right there. The Reaver might fall, so healing that would be imperative. But too late. Too late. Johnson is tier 3. The one saving grace for this entire army. A bunch of Wolverines would be so nice. Displacement! Putting the army back in Psylax's hand. This might be the way that Psylax wins this game, actually. He'd be so happy, I think, picking a game off of Liam. Even if it's just Johnson. But just Johnson? Johnson's actually been pretty good as of late, honestly. And moving into the garrison. Is that Johnny actually gonna have a chance to survive? He's got a veterancy point. So if anything is gonna help, it's that. Liam's a little late for the turret, sadly for him. But if you're a Psylac fan, our boy's gonna need this. Gonna need every little bit of help that he can get. Bunch of hunters will go down to this Johnny. He's doing actually pretty good here. I like the addition of the Hornets. There is absolutely no anti air here for Psylac. And to make new ones would take a long time. He's still making Marauders. But he's also going tier 3 behind this. So finally catching up on that front. The anti-infantry turret helping out a lot here. But targeting the hero, not the best. It's... It doesn't actually do that much damage there. Uh, there's still no Nightingale, and I'm not even sure there's gonna be. Liam just making Hornets, and that's kind of keeping him alive for the moment. Maybe too soon to write him off, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is pretty good at what he does, isn't he? Steve! Only Mass Effect fans will understand. Another star, perhaps, on the horizon? Uh, we're close, I think we're close. Alright, so Liam might claw his way back into this game if there's no Reaver. Space still isn't upgraded, but this one is. So that's good. Liam doesn't have an easy means to get across the map. He could get Pelican, but... If he does, I've, I'm afraid his base might not be able to hold. Now, let's see what he's doing overall. He's getting anti-air turrets, which is a great choice. And the first Colossus will be on the field soon. It's 
Let's see where the honor guard is going. Might find this base. Does find this base. Very good. Very good. Do we have a star on this as well? Most of the health on this base will be lost by the time it completes, so Liam should probably just sack it and save his resources. There's absolutely no way that he can keep that alive. Also, it's looking like a much better army now. Several hunters. The brutes are good in number. And there's finally a wraith. Which I assume there will be more of soon. Okay, the Nightingale is gonna try to keep this alive. Psylax mini base is getting destroyed by hornets. I wonder if these hornets are just gonna come back and save this. It seems entirely possible, especially if Liam smokes it. Yeah, very nice for Liam that he's been able to keep everything going for so long. And the longer this game goes, the better for him. Johnson at least has some reasonable means to combat Shipmaster's displacement combos. Like, the moment it happens, you just proc your invulnerability, really. And you don't have to worry about uh, mind detonations and whatever. We've got a Vulture, we've got a Colossus. So this is starting to look pretty good. It's got the range. But the base is getting destroyed as now the Reaver joins to get rid of the Nightingale. There's, there was no way that Liam could keep that going, but he's got a good amount of resources, so slowly but surely he can grow his numbers, both the Vulture and the Colossus ones. It's gonna be expensive to upgrade everything at once though. 7 slot base certainly helping a lot here. And now we're gonna have a mini mini base as well for Liam, so all that adding up is pretty nice. Of course the hero counter-attacking here is a big deal. The generators can be taken out fairly easily. The turrets don't do too much damage back, but the generators are free for Liam. And we've got a bit of a beam with a mech overcharge for the Colossus to be saved, but uh, yeah, not much has died, honestly. Not much has died. The beam didn't do the job. But guess what? The slows from the brute stunts. That's gonna catch the Colossus. Very low on that. On that hunter. Definitely needs some healing. <laughs> Engineer chilling here. If one of these turrets was anti-air, that chilling won't last very long. He does have the ability now to upgrade to 120 population. He might very well do. Oh yeah, the guys, the Hornet idea was brilliant from Liam. Like, there was just no counter whatsoever to that in that specific moment. And it's only because Psylac skipped on his reverse. So Liam recognizing that and just taking his chances with it. Sometimes these things work out. Colossus is such a great counter to this. You can't let your turrets do the hard work. You have to send some units. Has to be a Vulture or Colossus or something like that. Of course you can't chase this. Rogers for Liam. Doesn't feel the need for many more resources, it seems. He's getting Marines now. And that is interesting. Plenty of Reavers this time and Hunters. It's a very power-heavy composition, and Psylax probably not going to be able to keep that going for very long. Whoa, Liam, we're forgetting, we're forgetting something here. <laughs> the engineers do spot under the smoke, so it doesn't help. On the defense, you have to actually smoke the attacking unit. 
But getting the engineers is good enough. It's basically the value of a base right there. Almost. Colossus count is now up to four for Liam. Can certainly handle this army. I like to see it. Silax holding two points. Means to be seen for what? Little bit of stats while this game is uh, figuring itself out. We've got 74% of the point votes for Liam, by the way. Interesting. But Psylac can still definitely win this. It's just he's got to be careful. Careful not to lose to the Colossus. He can keep Liam on two bases. And he gets all seven slots. Maybe takes over the minis. Then he can do it. Also maxing out with help. 220 pop. Uh, this is what I mean. The Colossus wreck everything very easily from range. Two hunter squads have already gone down. Let's not make it worse. Oh no. Oh no. Here come the Angies. They're in trouble too. Silax so on a... Teleport back home, good idea, but many were lost. Forward teleport. Got another push underway. And another spirit support. Liam should probably unlock Pelican now. He needs some mobility with these bad boys. But yes, indeed, that is six Colossi now. Liam's base probably needs at least a heal. If he has that. EMP Mad Blast will buy him some time at least. So that's good, that's good. And he's popping down the heal right in that moment. Look at that heal rate. It's looking pretty good. There's the Pelican. Do, do we have Stomp? We do not have Stomp. We have Displacement, however. <laughs> well, Liam's base is staying alive. 45 base upgrade. Number 3 is coming in while the turrets are going to town. But there's no anti-vehicle, which is really the problem for Liam here. Smokes are targeting the army and doing a pretty good job of it. The Johnny is starring up to two stars. Destroying a mini base as well. There's something going on here. But it looks like Liam is able this time around to secure the five slot. And I think he should be able to go to seven slots very easily from here. Just a thousand power needed he has it so he should do it close I are back ready to help and Liam is going to counter the beam very easily is, is he gonna stomp those no no he does not have stomp but he's walking up close anyway just to make sure that he does take down the raves the Johnson is getting a little bit weak but everything that could damage him is getting absolutely wrecked who needs stomp anyway that was super solid uh, the base however is I believe cloaked yes so Liam won't be able to see anything. They need some nightingales and maybe even uh Honestly a Wolverine or two wouldn't hurt. Just to have some anti-air against engineers and whatnot. I think that's useful. Now going after the main. Psylax still does not have a 7 slot here. He's trying furiously to remake buildings. Oh, sorry, units. He's rebuilt his army. Oh, the hero did get picked off, so... No more stars on that. Good kill on another Reaver. Not the first. Probably not the last. Loss is good unit. Confirmed. Uh, spirit support coming in. Psylac is only at 73 population by Liam. It's 104. More and more units crossing the map. There's the Wolverines we discussed. 
countering the engineers very easily. And from here, the hunters just melt one by one. They, you can't send them in one by one. He says, close one. Yeah, Liam, I could tell he was actually sweating a little bit from this one. <laughs> Silak got close to actually putting him away, but it's not enough. He destroys the shield generator, gets displaced to the far side of the map. Silak is refusing to just die, getting his remaining slots on the base, and maybe he can max back out. Maybe he can get the beam upgrades for, for the hunters and... Oh god. I was gonna say... I was gonna say the Wolverines should be manageable here, but no they're not. No, no, no. The Pedda can make sure that everyone comes back in one piece. And Liam just seems pretty much invulnerable. Psylax is going to blow up his buildings. One by one. He says, GG my G. Wait, is there a Scarab coming? Banshee Swap. <laughs> Uh, he used up all his teleports. Now there's not gonna be a banshee swap. Uh, thank you very much to run down rookie by the way for the raid. Appreciate it very much. Good game by Liam. Also by Psyalak. Like that was that was nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the last one. The last chance. Sir Liam White is going for the cutter life. Been enjoying it for a long time since the launch of the game. Psylac going with Colony, which in theory could be a counter to Cutter, but Cutter is pretty well equipped to handle Colony for uh, a long time, I would say. Eventually, in the deep late game, of course, Colony does take over, but um, you've got a really solid early game as well with the chopper ramps, and then following up that with Goliaths is usually pretty powerful. So there comes the Skitterer immediately, the Marine looking to go to the power by the side, but I think Psylax should see this coming and actually position the... Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Liam starting off with a bit of wiggling and the ramp's gonna catch up with him, but he didn't take that much damage. He lost a model on the, on the unit, but... I think the Marine might actually be able to get to the, to the healing. Oh, <gasps> Psylax blocking it! Very nice! Very nice to see that. Liam couldn't save it. Got the side mini being picked up by Psylac. Not the front one, interestingly. And Liam is just enjoying the one on the other side. Oh, so Spartan makes a lot of sense. The Spartan can deal with both choppers. And Goliaths, should they be happening, then you can add whatever counter unit is necessary. Oh, thanks guys. Somebody, uh... Somebody arranged the vote. Venoms, thank you. I forgot to do it, so... I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> you didn't forget. That's great. More skits coming in for Psylac. And we've also got a frontal raid camp. Yeah, he'll need that to put on some pressure, but Liam knows. Wait, he does not know. He's seen the mini base, but not the building on it, so. Seeing as this marine is basically toast already, you might as well get the scouting info. Oh no. Went back to gather the resource. That's also a way to make sure that they at least produce some value. I like it, I like it. Uh, the grunt will be toast over there, but got some scouting info for Psylodak. In fact, he's seen the entire base, but doesn't know what's on the minis yet. There's gonna be a barracks. And that's it. Uh, Liam also with the mini base deal. I like it. I like it. Let's see if he can also pick up this one. Huge if he can. 
course the Goliath is gonna make his life difficult. Oh, I did a stretch and everything's cracking. But what's cracking over here? Spartans trying to take power nodes. Liam has no idea this is heading his way. Well, 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 by the time the Goliath arrives in your base, it's usually too late. Especially because there's gonna be a heal available. The choppers can keep everything else at base. So Liam knows he needs to get the hell out of here and uh, rejoin the forces at home. One turret is gonna be pummeled pretty hard, but there is a, a skit as well to help. Taking a little bit of fire. Uh, Psylak has to move on as it's not yet time for the third point drop. Chopper is destroyed. But the chopper count is increasing and on this map you're fairly easily able to heal them back up. Considering you've got the heal nodes on the side, it's a bit of a detour, sure. But, a pretty potent one, I would say. Hammering that mini base, pretty good. I like the addition of the sniper to chase away the infantry. If Silac can make it to like six Goliath plus the drop plus Skitterers, I think he's got a good chance of maining down the main. That happens, Liam is in serious trouble, but he's got all the ST drops, he's got. Uh, supposedly mines. I haven't seen his second point pick yet. I, I've not seen his mines whatsoever, so you might get to see it now with these choppers, but Psylac is on point with the micro. Loses one chopper. Oh, the ODSTs are gonna finish this off. This whole group is gone. Very nicely done by Liam sandwiching that. I thought Psylac will get away, honestly, but not the case, not the case. Mini base is toast, man. Marie just barely don't spot this. <laughs> I love how that worked out for Psylac. But this is a barracks here, so not the easiest base to knock down. He's also going to the main, and this time around he is gonna have the drop ready to go. But there's also two turrets, plus several marines, plus the snipers, plus the Spartan. Do not drop in here, do not drop in here. This is not... Oh, the heal is not good either. He's barely gonna do any damage. The stun part counters the whole thing. Best he can do is destroy some mini bases. Uh, drop it in here even. That's the best option right now. Just make sure you have something, you know. Uh, you can even drop in for this one because Liam's trying to now claim it. And if these two somehow stayed alive, if, if they had just run away, that would have been rather nice. But now they're going to be caught by the Spartan snipers, so they're probably dead. Uh, Spartan, pretty sure, is about to have a slam ready, but not even going to be necessary. As the double sniper outputs a massive amount of damage here. Silac in Trouble City as Liam is gearing up to go to tier 2. Satchels, boom, boom. Even the Sentinels are on Liam's side. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Gonna drop in some more gorillas. Is that gonna work? I have my doubts. The snipers arrive and start tearing them a new one. These Marines. So numerous. Do they have they have grenades? Oh boy. Tough situation for Psylak. He's about to lose everything. He's so far away from fifth point, so he's not even gonna have a big drop. And even if he did, Liam would just take over one of the wraiths with the Spartan. It's very tough situation for Psylak here. Very tough. Such good micro on those snipers, by the way. He keeps pulling them back every time they shoot almost. Great split once again from Liam and man handling the oh. Yes, they, they took that to the face, didn't they? <laughs> he almost had it, though. He almost had it. It was just a little too close. Well, that gives Psylak like a bit of a reprieve. Because there's suddenly not that many units for Liam. But like I said, we're still far away from fifth point. 
And these ODSCs are cleaning up the minis for Psylac. It's absolutely ginormous when Cutter gets to kill that many Goliaths. Psylac has definitely overcommitted to them. He's done some good multi pronged harassment, but look at the resource differential. Liam just buys up two bases with that money. And while Psylac has a more developed base, Liam can just attack right now. He's gonna be in fifth point momentarily thanks to all his skills. And all he needs to do is save up some money, upgrade some heavy supply pads. Oh, whoa. He's spending everything on generators, so he's not going to drop anytime soon. That's cool. He's buying up a fourth base. Ay 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 ay. The Sir Liam guy is very powerful indeed. Now that better be a shield generator, my guy. Or else. Oh, it's a sensor tower. That's not going to fly. That is not gonna mech fly. <sighs> well, Hunter Capitano is not gonna be around for the rest of this. Once again, a tough situation for Psylac. He's hiding behind that one turret that he's got remaking the Hunter Captain. Um, he's gonna be able to drop in the Goliaths here, I suppose. So his only play left, but Liam. He's gearing up for the big drop. He's got very little supply or population, sorry. Um, Psylac is in tier 1. He never actually got to tier 2. But Liam realizes he's full of turrets, so let's not go there. This is a perfectly good drop location, right? So why not just go here? And he's doing it. He is doing it. I think this is gonna kill Psylac, and yes it is. Liam once again wins the show match 4-0. This man cannot be defeated. Send rock generation at him. No mercy. Whoever commissions the next show match, you must see Liam um, receive a similar fate. What is going on here? Psylac still gave it a good try. I have to commend that. But Liam walks away with 30 bucks once again. Thanks again to Cheddarful Lad for arranging the show match and commissioning it. You could be next. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.